Next time you bite into a slice of apple or a cob of corn, consider this, these familiar fruits and veggies didn't always look and taste this way. Humans have been eating fruit, vegetables, and meat for a long, long time, so long that it's evolved along the way. We've selectively bred things to give us more of the good stuff and less of the waste, and in some cases, that means we've now got something that our ancestors wouldn't even recognize. And that's pretty wild. So, let's take a look at just what foods have changed the way they look. Number 1. Corn Corn has come a long way since farmers in Mexico began selecting kernels from the biggest and best ears to plant for the next season. Those first steps toward domestication happened around 10,000 years ago, it happened surprisingly quickly. A few theories on the domestication of corn have been put forward, but the most popular is that corn started as a genetic mutation of the TSM, a grass that has kernels that not only look similar to corn, but can crossbreed with today's corn and produce viable offspring. Researchers have determined that there are only five genes that are different between teosint and corn, despite the difference in appearance. While teosint kernels are small, hard seeds that grow in long spikes of only five to seven rows, while corn has lost those hard seeds and replaced them with husks that prevent reproduction without interference. If you hate shucking a dozen ears of corn for dinner, imagine needing to shatter the kernel of hundreds of teosint spikes for a meal. Number 2. Avocado the avocado has gone through some much needed changes, which now allows us to smoothly spread it onto our toast instead of feeling like you're choking to death, like with every bite of peanut butter. The original avocado was apparently small and is said to have been able to easily fit into your palm. They were so small the diameter was only around 3 inches. On top of that, the pit to fruit ratio was basically ridiculous, since the pit took up almost the entire avocado. As if that wasn't enough to turn most people away from this version, the fruit part wasn't that good. In fact, it's said to have had a rougher and grittier taste to it. After some desperate alterations starting way back in 500 BCE, the avocado now has a creamy taste and is obviously significantly larger. In short, it's a far better bang for your buck. One thing that hasn't changed is the color, it seems to be just the same as it was in the past. At least now you don't need to buy 10 of these things to get the same amount as you now do with one, they're expensive enough as it is. As for how we got this improved version, well, it isn't a real mystery. We did what humans appear to have done so often throughout history, selectively breed until we got what we wanted. Number 3. Peach Like the others on this list, humans cultivated peaches and used selective breeding for generations to give us the sweet, juicy fruit we have today. Peaches date to 4000 BCE and were originally cultivated in China. OG peaches were very small and resembled cherries. Only 64% of the flesh of original peaches was edible, compared to 90% now, as they had large pits that took up roughly 34% of the fruit. The taste was said to be like a lentil. These peaches looked, and tasted, dramatically different from present-day peaches. Number 4. Eggplant Wild eggplants looked nothing like the current version. Most versions used to be round and white, which is where the name comes from, I had always wondered. Eggplant also used to have spines that connected to the flower, now replaced with stems, and was used primarily for medicinal reasons as its taste was so bitter. It's believed that China, India, and Thailand led the way in cultivating eggplant and giving us the delicious version we have today. Selective breeding has reshaped the plant to be oblong, purple and removed the spine, better yet, the eggplant is now edible and tastes good. Number 5. Strawberry Unlike many other wild fruits and vegetables, wild strawberries were sweeter than today's version, but they were also much smaller. Are you wondering why today's version of the fruit has lost its sweeter taste? It's reported that farmers were more interested in cultivating a larger version of strawberry which resisted better disease. When all that factors came along the way, the taste of the fruit declined. The modern strawberry came about when a French spy brought Chilean strawberries, which were much larger than any found in Europe, back to his home country. The Chilean and French versions were crossed and the modern strawberry was born. Number 6. Tomatoes Shaping the tomato to today's taste has happened for thousands of years. The ancestors of tomatoes looked more like berries and varied in color. The original tomato cultivars were small and yellow. These wild tomatoes were called golden apples, which is where the Italian word for tomato, pomodoro, comes from. Next in line in the evolution were cherry tomatoes, which eventually led to the large, bright red tomatoes we see today. Similar to the strawberry, selective breeding over the years that favored size and durability caused today's tomato to have less flavor than its predecessors, although when you buy an heirloom tomato, you're getting some of that original flavor back. Number 7. Carrot Almost everyone can recall being told to eat this crunchy vegetable as a child because it would improve our eyesight. 
Carrots currently have an orange color, generally, they taste alright when served as a side or with a dip, and they're pretty consistent in every aspect no matter where you are in the world. But, back in the day, around the 10th century to be more precise, there was an earlier form of carrot. It was originally purple or white and came in the form of a thin forked root. Alongside that, it's said to have first appeared in what is now modern-day Iran and Turkey, as opposed to now, where you can find them widespread throughout the world. Ultimately, this change was likely for good as we got something that looks less like a tooth, and is probably a little more nutritious once farmers domesticated it. What this means is that there's a chance the carrot was selectively bred by replanting larger versions of it, although this is not fully understood yet. And in case you thought this change to the humble carrot was a one-shot deal, don't worry, times are still a-changing. Kids now might also be consuming a different kind of carrot because the modern world has genetically modified foods. One GMO carrot was tested and resulted in increased calcium intake for some individuals. Maybe next time they'll add something that gives us cool night vision abilities. Number 8. Cucumber You probably wouldn't guess that the wild cucumber is related to the modern version of the cucumber we have today. Wild cucumbers were oval-shaped and covered in spikes over an inch long. Not so appealing, right? They had four large seeds inside of them, but they were not edible, in fact, wild cucumbers were so toxic that they could even take your life if you eat them. That's why they were cultivated originally in India only for medical purposes. Obviously, there are many differences between wild and modern cucumbers. Good thing for pickle lovers we can eat the current versions. Number 9. Banana The banana is a very interesting fruit as there have been several variations of it throughout time. It's said to have been first cultivated around 7 to 10,000 years ago. It came from the area currently known as Papua New Guinea and was also grown in Southeast Asia. The original was so drastically different than if you put it and the modern version side by side, one might even confuse them for completely unrelated fruits. This is due to the fact that the originals came from two types, the Musa acuminata and Musa balbiziana. Both of those types supposedly had hard and large seeds. When you compare that to what we now all consume, aka the Cavendish, you'll find that the modern version not only has much smaller seeds but is also better tasting and has more nutrients. To add an extra advantage, it appears to even be more accessible due to being easier to peel. This switch from the original Musa Acuminata banana, to the specific cultivar we use today, wasn't an overnight deal. The bananas that are now consumed are said to not even be the same as those that your grandparents were eating. At that time, the banana type was called Gros Michel, but needed to be swapped out for a banana type that was genetically resistant to Panama disease, a fungus affecting the root of the plant. However, it's been reported that even the Cavendish cultivar we eat today is not completely resistant to the devastating Panama disease, so who knows what the future holds for bananas. Number 10. Watermelon. Watermelon has a long and somewhat interesting history. Unlike some other fruits out there, the family tree of the watermelon is not as well known, and we're still not entirely sure what the original fruit looked like. But there's a bit of evidence that gives us all an idea of how it's changed. You see, there's a painting that was done by Giovanni Stanchi, somewhere between 1645 and 1672. It shows the melon's flesh as being rather pink, patterned in a swirl inside of six triangular segments, almost like slices of a pie. There also appeared to be an abundance of seeds in the painted fruit. Currently, you've got many options with this fruit, you can buy them seedless or in the form of a square if you're into that sort of a thing. But other than the aesthetic changes that we've purposely done to the fruit in the modern ages, not too much seems to have changed. The most notable difference would be the red interior. So the simple conclusion about this fruit is the idea of the watermelon not being altered as much as the other fruits. It seems like the original, natural watermelon was already so enjoyable, farmers didn't mess with it too much. Don't fix what isn't broken, I guess. What fruit or vegetable do you think bears the least resemblance to its original version? Will you be able to look at them the same way you did before watching this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button to stay notified about more videos. Thanks for watching.